another lesson in the After Effects course for beginners. Let's talk about starting a new composition. Last time, uh, if you watched the lesson, uh, we talked about the After Effects layout. And today, I want to talk to you about starting a new composition, which is the very first thing you'll be doing if you're starting an After Effects project. So last time I had a new composition already started. You saw the black canvas, video canvas, but if you just open up After Effects for the first time, this is what you're gonna see. To start a new composition, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Up here at the top, you can just go up to Composition and select New Composition. As you see, you can press Command N on a Mac or I believe Control N on a PC. Or you can go down to this little video icon. It looks like a little film strip down here in the project folder bin and click that. So once you click that, you get this dialog box open. And you'll notice it's pre pretty similar to other video editing programs where it asks you for a name. So we'll just do uh, practice After Effects. That's what we'll call it. Then you have different sizes. So you can choose a preset size from this preset menu. And you know, usually those are fine if you want to pick one of those. You should, there's no right or wrong answer for picking the size of a composition. Sometimes you're using, uh, you're using After Effects along with Adobe Premiere Pro or a video editing software to add effects to a video that you're already working on. On so you want to make sure that the the settings are the same. But if you're just working in After Effects, you know just choose whatever settings you want. If you want it in HD 1920 by 1080 pixels, you can just input those right here. Say you want 1280 by 720, you can choose that. If you don't want this aspect ratio of 16 by 9 or 16 to 9, which is the typical 8 uh, aspect ratio for videos nowadays, you can unlock it by unchecking that box and you know putting whatever, however many pixels you want. You can actually relock it, and then if you increase by just clicking and dragging to the left or right, it keeps that aspect ratio. Even if you're just clicking on width and increasing the width, it also increases the height. So I'm going to go back to 1920 by 1080. Actually, I'll do 1280 by 720. Uh, obviously, a smaller size composition will take up less uh, RAM and memory and keep your computer a little bit faster. Uh, down here, square pixels, that's, you know, just leave it at square as pixels. Frame rate, again, another thing, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just what you want to do, or if you're using another this for another video project, match the other video project's frame rate. 23976, or also known as just typically 398, 23.98 uh, is a good frame rate for video projects. Resolution, this you can change after so you don't have to really worry about this this is just when you're you're playing back your projects uh, while you build them out it's you can show it in full frame full resolution half third quarter or even customize it uh, you might find that your computer is a little bit slow and it's too slow to sh play the full quality of a video uh, so you might want to do a quarter I'll show you how to change that later too and then, lastly, you have your start time code and the duration. Duration, obviously, is just the duration of your clip. These things you can change later, but say you're editing a tile sequence, 10 seconds would be good. And you can start your time code later, but most of you, you just want to leave it at zero. And background color, that's the last thing, is if you want, you can... Um, change this to another color, white or whatever you want, but I would just leave it at black. And there's some advanced settings, but we don't need to get into those. You click OK, and there you have it. There is our new composition. Down here on the bottom, you can change the size of it. I usually say fit up to 100%, and that fills this 
box right here this canvas and you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you need room for outside of it if you need more room for the effects bins or the timeline or whatever uh, here down at the bottom is the resolution so you can just change this if you want see the other things you might need to know uh, this uh, toggle transparency grid by clicking this it gives you this transparency grid which shows you what is transparent so say you want to create a project that just has text or titles and you want to put it over a video clip in Adobe Premiere Pro it's good to know what is transparent and what's not transparent uh, there's a lot of other things down here the other thing I'd like to show you is this button down here to the right of the size you can click that and there's some cool tools so there's a title action safe so if you have to pay attention to titles for uh, to make sure your titles don't go outside of these boxes for like television or or something like that this is a good resource or if you want to use the proportional grid I always use this when I'm creating titles and text just to make sure things are centered aligned properly etc and you can just go ahead and click it off as well that's it for now that is starting a new composition I hope you enjoyed this lesson if you have any questions message me or find me on videoschoolonline.com and I'll see you next time talk to you later and have a great day bye